after watching last night's Democratic primary debate, I thought this would be a great, great place to start today's video. Now, for those of you who have never seen the movie Full Metal Jacket, Stanley Kubrick was way ahead of his time. This movie was the standard by which just about every other military movie of its kind is measured. Um, Arlie Ermey, here pictured, rest his soul, um, reprised the role of a, a drill instructor, Marine Corps drill instructor, Vietnam era. And having been one himself, he did an amazing, amazing job. If you haven't seen Full Metal Jacket, it's one of those things that you're missing out on life if you haven't seen this. But there's a very particular scene in the early part of the, the film that I wanted to cover today. Now, here's a quote from when he was just walking around, and there was, of course, an introduction and to what life in the Marine Corps was going to be like for these guys. And, you know, he basically says, you know, you're all equally worthless. And anybody who's ever been in the military, and I know I speak to a lot of people who have, the racism is the last thing on your mind. It really is, because the suffering level is just epic at that point. But the scene I'm talking about is Arlie Ermey asks this guy, um, his character is Private Joker, to go clean the head. And he said he wanted the head so clean that the Virgin Mary, quote, Virgin Mary herself would be proud to go in and take a dump in there. And he asks him, you do love the Virgin Mary, you know, pretty much asking if he values Catholic values, I guess. And Private Joker says no. And the next words out of his mouth was, I don't think I heard you correctly. And he said, I said, sir, I said, no, sir. And the next question is, are you trying to offend me? Now, this was way before PC culture. This was the, uh, this movie came out in the 80s. And this so prescient, whoever, Kubrick, you know, to, to have this confrontation. And there's the back and forth and um, the gunnery sergeant punches him in the gut. And he still sticks by his story. And in the explanation, he says that he feels that if he reverses himself, Private Joker speaking, that the drill instructor would beat him harder for being a coward. Well, after this exchange, he gets promoted to squad leader. And that's why... Uh, Private uh, Leonard Lawrence is in the um, back uh, corner there because he's getting the information that Private Joker is now his squad leader. But the quote, the quote that it took me, I guess, three minutes to get to was this. Private Joker is silly and he's ignorant, but he's got guts and guts is enough. And that's where I wanted to get to today. Guts is enough. Now, I have asked people multiple times to, if their only choices in any election, upcoming, you know, presidential, local, if your only choices are R or D, don't vote. Don't vote. Just don't feed the problem. And last night at the debate, there was one woman who fed these people their lunch. It was Awesome to see Marianne Williamson, when while I don't agree with her, I believe in many ways she's like Private Joker, silly and foolish, but she's got guts. And guts is enough. I would, if this, if this woman would run independently, oh my goodness, she would be a giant problem for them. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well, wait, are you for reparations? That wasn't the point. When she owned them, she owned them on the argument about corporate donations. All these uh, lifelong politician Democrats up there were talking about, oh, poor us, the corporation, they won't let us govern. They won't let us do our job, blah, 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 blah. And of course, the debate moderators who have already pretty much decided they want a Sanders Warren ticket didn't get to her until last, but in doing so, they set her up to knock a grand slam right out of the park after all of these lifelong politicians and recipients of tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in corporate donations. She said, look, all of you can yada, yada, yada all you want, 
but every single person up here is here because of corporate donations except me. And the crowd went nuts. They absolutely went nuts. This woman spoke with nothing to lose last night, spoke truth to power like I've not seen anyone do since maybe Abby Martin. Seriously. This woman, and like I said, I don't agree with her on a lot of her positions, but in my book, the way that she differentiated herself last night, if she stops seeking that D anointing, I, ooh, I would really think about it. I would really think about pulling a lever for someone like this. Not because I agree with them, but because they would be a giant thorn in the side. We need people like this to, to step up on the libertarian, on the conservative side, and say, you know, we are going to have the guts this woman had and stand up against the, the R side. I'll tell you what, if we can make a four-way, five-way, six-way race, I think the establishment would have a huge problem. I think back in 16, they'd have had a problem. If we would have had even, let's say, Trump run as an independent, and then a Republican, maybe Cruz, then Clinton as a Democrat, and then if Bernie Sanders would have run as a socialist, then you would have also had Jill Stein with the Green Party, and you would have had Gary Johnson with the Libertarian. You had a six-way race. Feasibly, 20% could win. And that'd be the best thing in the world, because that would then neuter the MSM. Their whole shtick about, oh, you have to vote for one, because if you don't vote for one, it's helping the other bullshit, would completely be gone. They would never be able to say it again. They would never be able to say it again. This woman did an amazing, amazing job last night. And uh, way over here to the, to the left side of the stage, she owned these people on two or three different. St and, and just speaking just off the cuff, no, no uh, prepared remarks, no um, talking points. Well, I mean, well done. Well done. And I'll say it again, third time. Don't agree with her on everything. Don't agree with her on a lot of things. But she showed clearly that everyone other than her on that stage was equally worthless. And I wanted to show this just so you can see it. This was the last debate. After the last last debate, the the blue is most searched Google terms. Bernie Sanders was number one, of course. Looks like Elizabeth Warren, number two. Marianne Williamson only was searched in Wyoming and New Mexico. Now, this was the last debate, not the one last night. Now, check out after the debate. Marianne Williamson and Steve Bullock. In 49 states, in 49 states, she's the most searched term. We have an opportunity that no one is seeing, and the MSM ain't talking about it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. We could throw a giant monkey wrench in these elections and destroy the DR paradigm and destroy this bullshit voting against garbage. There is no such thing as a vote against. You're either voting for someone or you're not. This whole, well, oh, I'm going to have to hold my nose and vote for blah, 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 just so other blah, 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 worse person doesn't get elected. It's crap. It's absolute crap. This, you know, it makes the admission that you have accepted your chains when you do stuff like that. Let me say it again. If you're one of these people that believes, I have to vote or even though the person is terrible because the D's are so much worse, you are accepting your chains. That you're just accepting the, the MSM lie, fake narrative, bullshit story, that you have to accept R or D rule. You don't. In the last election, there were four choices on the ballot. Four. And if you would turn off Fox, if you would turn off CNN, turn off your MSM parroters, all of their little channels that just say what they're saying and give you the belief system that you're not watching the MSM, but you're listening to their crap anyway, because it's a different channel. You've got to turn that stuff off. 
and see the reality. And last night, I'll tell you what, I kept a ball peen hammer handy just so I could smash myself in the temple as a more pleasant alternative to listening to the analysis of the debate. But after listening to it, those commentators, especially from CNN, they did everything they could to denigrate her and talk about how wonderful Warren and Sanders are. It shows clearly the collusion. And we saw the same, we saw the same thing back in 15 with Fox and Trump. Same thing. So in the bag for him. Didn't allow any other voices to come out. And I'll say it again. Two wings of the same corrupt bird. Two wings of the same corrupt bird. That's why they didn't invite Gary, Gary Johnson onto a stage to debate libertarian values. If they, if this woman, if they don't allow her to get through to the next level of debates, I'll tell you what, there's going to be a lot of people think really hard about financing her as an independent. And she's going <clears> to, <throat> she's going to be demonized like Jill Stein was as someone destroying the Democrat chances of beating Donald Trump, blah, 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 all this crap. She'll be the only one giving you an option to not vote for your chains. And there's another guy running Libertarian right now. I can't remember his name. I've talked about him before. But honestly, if they're on the ballot, vote for them. Write them in. Don't vote R or D. These people are terrified of this. This woman owned them last night on their own CNN stage. Seriously, fed them their lunch. And the crowd went nuts, absolutely went nuts for this woman. It's not, you can do it. You can destroy these people. But we need voices like this channel and other larger voices to step up and start pushing and start promoting this to put a giant dent in this. And we may not do it next time. And maybe we don't do it the time after that. But when those numbers start to come up and we stop having people vote R, vote D, and just accept that R or D is their only option, we'll start to make headway. We'll start to make differences. Mark my words. This map shows it all. This is what they were afraid of with Tulsi Gabbard as well. She was the most searched in every state last time, and they blocked her, Google blocked her campaign ads because they were so terrified of her. It's too bad that it has to be something where it started on that side of the aisle, people pushing them, pushing away and saying, you know, we're done with the D party. But we can do it too. Conservative. On the conservative side. We can stand up and say, you know what? Enough of this having to get the R anointing before we do anything. And I said this in the last video. You would have, no matter what happened in the last debate, or pardon me, the last election, back in 16, all of you out there who are giant Trump supporters, you would have voted for whoever the R was just to keep Hillary out of office. You would have voted against Hillary. That's why there were 15 of them up there. Because they knew it di didn't matter what they said. As soon as they got the R anointing, they were going to be entitled to all of the R votes. Because it's all theirs. Because the MSM has brainwashed the people of this country into believing well, unless you vote for somebody who has a chance of winning, you're just throwing your vote away. Bullshit. 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 Sorry. It's just the case. This little woman on the left here proved it. In spades last night. I mean, well done. Never seen anything like it. I mean, it's seriously never seen anything like it. She destroyed them. And I guess I will just leave that there. Thank you again very much for the support on the music. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.